Is there anything that you've done uh, in this journey that has ended up harming your health? I'd say the worst outcome was using human growth hormone. Mm. We were repeating a study that was done for thymus rejuvenation, so the gland responsible for the immune okay. system. We did 100 days of human growth hormone, 0.6, 1.8 IU was the dose. We successfully changed my thymus fat fraction by uh, seven years equivalent. So I, according to three MRIs, we regenerated my thymus by seven years. That was positive. but. It came at a pretty extreme cost. I had intracranial pressure increase. I had my blood glucose were messed up. Uh, it was pretty. Couple things I want to say about Brian. First of all, I think he's a great guy. I've met him. Extremely present. Extremely focused. When you're talking to him, good dude. However, he's experimenting with so much that there may or may not be confounding variables that influence the overall outcome and give us the impression that perhaps what he's doing now is working, but we don't know what it's going to look like in five to ten years. And maybe he had this issue with his growth hormone. There might be a, a number of issues that arise at some point in time. But in this moment, he's still selling you his supplements. You're still being marketed to based off of his experiments that are impossible for anyone to replicate and you look at this objectively from a scientific angle and it's his anecdotal evidence. That's, that's the lowest item on the totem pole when it comes to scientific efficacy. So what works? So anyway, he's a great guy, but don't fall for what works for him and don't get the impression that unless you buy his supplements, you're not going to live longer.